All right, welcome back. Intro to engineering. This is the last video for our um, reverse engineering project. So you would think we were going to be doing 6.4 structural analysis. We are not going to do that. Okay, don't worry about this. If you see and click in there for 6.4, we don't do activity 6.4. Um, so the only thing I really wanted to show you then is a comparison between the rubric. All right, uh, rubric, nope, not that. The rubric, and we're gonna drag that over there. And the actual example I have here, the student example. Okay, so that's there. Um, so let's go over this here to start. So this is an example of a student's reverse engineering project. Um, they call it the flashlight manual. I would refer it to the same as you guys. So whatever project you choose, blank, 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 manual. Okay. Now to start, your description of the device is provided. Sketches help explain each part and its function. So that's the functional analysis. And that would be uh, underneath here under um, purpose. So here's the individual sketches. And then here is how to put it together step by step. Okay, and then we have the purpose of the flashlight. How does it work? How to use a flashlight? Uh, and then our, if you notice our elements and principles graph is not in here. So if you turned this in like this, you would get zero points for that part. Okay, so make sure you do the elements and principles. Here's an example of a bill of materials. Um, Step-by-step -step description how to work the device. And I'll put the device together. There it is. Uh, overall, so you have a table of contents. That would be here, page numbers, and the header of the device and names. So just titles, things like that, so it's easier to follow. Uh, your engineering design process. And that's just, I'm going to look for, did you guys kind of just wing it, or did you actually use a... Um, good meticulous uh, way to go at this um, you should have uh, a good proof of this would be three improvement ideas so three improvement ideas for your project um, and then your conclusion so uh, if you want to know how I'm going to determine your engineering design process that will be based off your brainstorming for the uh, project improvements, okay? Um, your wrap-up report would be the conclusion, and then you'll get points for return, or turning, it on, turning it in on time, okay? Uh, then the oral presentation grading rubric, once again, provide a thorough yet brief description explained, uh, explaining the device purpose. All this would be through PowerPoint, okay? Um, that's really what I wanted to show you was the example here. There, there are two things that are different. All right, one, there should be a visual elements principles uh, graph in here. There is not. And two, this wrap up manual page, you are not going to have that. Your own wrap up is going to be a written documentation, not a, a chart. Um, but other than that, this is basically what I would like to see for your final project. Uh, notice how they did not use Inventor. So use your ability to draw, okay? At this point, you should be pretty good at it. Um, that's the rubric, that's that. And that would be the last video for 6.4. And um, if you have any questions, talk to the other classmates, talk to the teacher. Uh, Email me if you have the opportunity, if I have the opportunity, I will get back to you. Otherwise, uh, good luck on finishing up that project and uh, good luck on getting it on time and have a good day.